Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a favourites video and it's not, I don't know if it's January favourites or just favourites in general because I don't like, I don't know because I'm filming this on the 5th of February 2017. So yeah, let's just get into the video but before we do, don't forget to subscribe to this channel I'm uploading a few times a week so I would love it if you join the family. Guys, the worst thing could have happened. I just filmed the whole thing for 30 minutes. 45 minutes and I realized I was I wasn't filming the whole time the worst thing so here we go again okay so I'm gonna try and put this uh... Hello, Dad. I didn't even say hey Siri what my phone was on the floor and it's making noises I never said hey Siri Give this video a big thumbs up for me. Let's try and get to 100 thumbs ups. I know we can do it. I'm gonna try and do it in sections so it's a lot more organized. So I'm gonna start off with my makeup favorites. By the way, excuse my hair guys. I don't know what's going on with it. I just tried to do something cute, but it didn't really work out. But anyway, um, the first one's not really a makeup product, but I just used it before makeup, so it kind of still counts. Um, it's a Dermalogica Antioxidant Hydro Mist, and it's basically a facial mist that you can spray on your face before putting on makeup or after putting on makeup and it just makes your face a lot more moisturized and it just makes your face a lot more hydrated. I really really been loving it and I think it's more game history but it's lasted really really long. The next one is my Garnier Miracle Skin Cream and it's the anti-aging skin tra transforming care and I really really love this because it's really good if you're like going to school or if you want a really light sort of coverage but you still want to even out your skin tone a little bit. It's, this is basically a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. So I really really like it and you, and it's super easy to apply. You can just put a little bit on your fingers and then just put it all over your face with your hands. Super easy. The next makeup favorite is my Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I love to tap things when I have nails but anyway. So uh, this I used to hate. Maybe it was because, I don't know, it wasn't pigmented or anything when I first got it. Um, it might be one of those like things because sometimes you have like the top layer which isn't as good but once you like get rid of that then the bottom layer, not the bottom but like you know the middle layer is a lot more pigmented and creamy and this is so so good. It's my holy grail highlighter and I just love it. 17 by 50 originally but I think it went down to 15 something um, it was on sale so I thought let me just get it because I was gonna buy a highlighter anyway so I do not regret buying this I love it so much it's super like an intense highlight so if you love that then this is definitely for you but I've been using this not just this month but literally like every single month I don't know if you can see I'm just gonna swatch it but it's, su it's super, super pretty. Um, it's good for like my skin tone or lighter or maybe a bit darker, I don't know. You can. It's pretty universal for like most skin tones, similar to mine. Okay, so the last makeup fave is my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And I love this because it's basically like a fixing or setting spray, I'm not sure exactly. But you just spray it all over your face and I put about 10 or so sprays roughly. Um, I just like to drench my face in it, but I put it on after my makeup um, and sometimes I put it on after like some of my powders and I go with my beauty blender and it makes it look super flawless. But what this does is kind of gets all your layers and kind of fixes it into one layer and it makes it look super flawless and super like, I don't know, it just looks airbrushed. So I really, really love this and I think it was £17.50 and yeah, this is 100ml and I've had this for like a few weeks. And I've already used up this much, so you can see how much I love this. So if you were thinking of buying this, I really, really recommend it. I think I broke my highlighter. Because I just threw the Fix Plus on the highlighter. Oh no, we're safe. Let's see if my Hey Siri will work. Okay, so here's my friend, so let's see if it will work. Hey Siri. Oh my god! So I find that so cool. Anyway, let's just go on to the video. It's so cool, like in public I can just be like, Hey Siri, Hey Siri, Hey Siri. I don't know, I find it so cool. Yes. Sorry, I missed that. Stop, talk Stop talking to me! Siri! Sorry, it's scaring me. So now let's move on to hair favorites. I just realized I was behind me this whole time. Sorry about that. Catch me outside. 
about that. Okay, so my first one is this, and it's from John Frieda. It's the Frizz East Extra Strength Six Effect Serum, and this does everything it says. It eliminates frizz. It protects from humidity. It protects from heat. Smooths, hydrates, and tames. And I love it. I definitely recommend it. And my next favorite. I mean, it's my favorite since ever since I bought it, but I don't really know exactly where it's from. So I don't know. But I really love it because it's super easy to. Um, I'm not gonna really do it now, but it's super easy to blow dry your hair. You can just go like that and then blow dry it. So I really, really love this. And technically, it's a hair favorite because you use it when you're doing your hair. Ah! I caught it, but my hands. Okay, let's go on to a food favorite. And I don't really have it at, at the moment, but I thought I would just tell you what my food favorite is, like my snack sort of. So I would say Mr. Gipton Bake Horse Hearts. I've had them like a couple of times this month and they're so good but I feel like there's too much icing. I'll put a picture because I don't really, I don't have it with me to show you. So yeah, but that's my food favourite. And it's obviously not the only thing, it's just one of the things that I've been loving because I'm not going to include so much food in this. Next thing, let's go on to fashion favourites. So uh, this fashion favourite are my superstars and it's pretty obvious because literally anywhere I go I can wear these and I really love these because they're white and black and it has a little bit of gold. You can literally wear it with anything. And that's the thing I love about it. And it's so easy just to put on and, you know, head out of the door. So I love this. And this was 75 pounds for me because I'm like an adult size. Um, so yeah, and that's basically what I've been loving as far as shoes go. Okay, I'm gonna try and catch them. Oh my God, it almost went on my candle. If it caught on fire, I would never figure myself. Another fashion fave is this coat, and I don't know if you can really tell, but it's a black coat with a bit of gold detailing. And it looks like this, and I don't know if, I can't even see what I'm showing you. But yeah, and then, um, basically the inside of it's like sort of fluffy and it's warm, and this coat is from Michael Kors. Um, so yeah, I just really love it because it's super elegant and it's black and it's, you know, it looks pretty nice. I wear it for school, like I put it on top of my blazer because I do wear uniforms, so, um, because it's really cold at the moment, so I love to wear this for school and that's pretty much the only time I wear this coat. So my next fashion fave is this bag and it's Louis Vuitton, but I only got it like recently, my mum gave it to me. I think it's Louis Vuitton, if I'm wrong I'm so sorry because I don't even know my designer brand, like I don't know. Um, but it's a backpack and I'm going to wear it for school, um, so yeah, but I, I haven't like worn it yet, but I know that it'll be a fashion fave because I absolutely love it. So let's go on to perfume faves, I don't know if that's a thing, but I have two. The first one is just called Maxi and it's like an Arab perfume, people would say, I don't know. It's like really strong and I, you can't even get it in the UK, I think. I got it from Pakistan, but yeah, and I've been loving this recently and it's quite a strong smell. And this is like the complete opposite, and this is Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Fragrance Mist. And I don't know, this is like the best one they have. I smell all of them. It smells so good. It smells like sweets or something. I don't know, I'm gonna spray something right now. I was gonna spray my face. I thought it was like saying spray. It smells so good, and I take it to school in my bag because why not? You can smell nice. And I love the fact that it's not too strong. Like you can just put a few sprays and you'll smell like lightly of the scent and I don't know I was two for 18 pounds so um, I think that's pretty good considering it's a lot it's 250 mil so this is my Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado and I love this it was um, 20 something pounds for 28 grams and I just really really love it because you can put a little amount under your um, under eyes obviously so this has been my favorite sort of eye concealer now I can see the eye cream. Next thing is this, and it's from the Body Shop. It's a Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. And it says to use it two to three times a week, but I haven't been using it that much. Um, I've been including, I'm just including it because I've used it a few times and it's been incredible. I love the results. It's 15 pounds or whatever, but it does give you quite a few uses. So I've been loving this and it does have really good results. So if you have one near you, or if you have a body shop near you, then I totally recommend buying that. Next favourite is probably like a fashion favourite, but I didn't include it for whatever reason. It's a watch, and this is a Versace watch. So I don't know, I just really, really love it. Like, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a rectangle, um, or a square, or whatever. And I really, really love it because it's quite simple. Next favourite is this, and this is Dolce & Gabbana glasses. And these are like, they're not real glasses, they're just like clear ones. And I've been loving these. I don't know why. I don't think glasses suit me. So sorry. I think they're probably a bit dirty. I haven't worn them for a while actually. 
Oh my god, they're touching my eyelashes. I don't know if they see me, probably not. They give me a headache though. But anyway, I've been wearing this a few times and I just really, really like the way they look. But I don't think they're for me because I don't know. I just don't think they suit me. Next are these Nutrient Wise Chewable Multivitamins. And they're really good because they have a lot of stuff such as vitamin A, vitamin D, C, B1, B2, B6, and B12. And it has like green tea, spinach powder, and green coffee, um, whole beans, that's what it says. And it's actually really good. It makes your breath smell nice as well because it's peppermint flavour. And they sent this to me quite a while back actually. So thanks for sending this to me. It's obviously not sponsored, I just like them and they sent it to me, so yeah. On to music favourite, I actually don't know, so I'm gonna quickly go for my Spotify. Oh, um, I don't know if you guys will know this, but Bollywood songs, I have two. Um, you probably won't know unless you're like Indian or Asian. Edel Hemoshkil, the title track, and Hamari Aduri Kahani, been loving them too. Child's Play by Drake. This is not a fairy tale, I already know how you like it. Take you to the mall. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. I don't do it like I should. I've also been liking Fredo Dan One Hana. I'm sleeping. Wait, wait, no, seven. Yeah, and this song is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Okay guys, that's basically it. Sorry for like, I was jamming to the music weird, I don't know. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, my vlog channel, and watch my last video. It'll be on the screen right now. And I love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Bye.